Hey everyone, Sarah here and welcome back to Return to the Tomb. Now I know about the audio on the last one, it was like a bit echoey type thing, I know, I'm, I think I fixed it for this one, at least I hope I have. Anyway, we're in this room with the barometers. Start off with the middle one on the right. And then turn around and then over to the one on the left. Turn around, wait for the one on the right. Turn around. Wait for the one on the right. I'm going to go back a bit because I'm going to get burned if I don't move. Then we're going to go on the one in the middle. <gasps> then we should be good to go. Yep. If you don't see that blue light on the ceiling, you've done something wrong in the previous room. But I will show you something before I continue. In the one on the left, over there, there is a large medic back in there, but considering this is a no med run, I don't really see the need to bother to get it. But if you want to go and get it, then that's up to you. Now, in here, some tiles will have changed. You'll see some like bluish tinted tiles in the room now. We need to jump on each of those to open the gates at the other side. Don't touch the other ones. So, stand jump to this one, and then side jump back to the ledge. And then come around to the left here. Stand jump to the next one, and then stand jump to the next one. And then stand jump back to the previous one. And then you might have to walk a bit closer, stand jump to the ledge. In the next room, there is a scorpion. Once you've killed said scorpion, take the bar cartouche from the plinth. Then we are going to go back out. It doesn't matter if the door closes behind you, we've done with this room. left into this room colored tiles on the floor take note of the colors blue white white red blue blue we need to put those in that order so blue white white red blue blue Enter this door. Blue. In this room, there is a chain. Pull it. exit now there is a secret you can get now um i don't know where the clue for this is like i said normally i follow the walkthrough for these things but according to the walkthrough with this um there is we'll collect this cartouche first yeah i can't see a uh clue but the clue is white red red 
white. I'm going to stop here for a second. There are three dogs and a mummy in this room. Once you step forward onto the towels on the floor, the dogs will come alive and so will the mummy. So I think it's best to use the shotgun. And then of course you can't kill the mummy. Take the shotgun. I'm going to lure it over here. Medipack. Shotgun shells. Small medipack. Come on here. There we go. Flares. I think that's it. Yep, yeah, exit. Like I said, I don't know where the code is for that secret, but... Anywho, exit the way you came in. Then left, back into this room where you started. And we are going to pull a block... ...that's here. to this here so you can climb up to this ladder here so let's do that shall we Climb up onto the block, jump up, and climb to the top of the ladder. Drop into the next room. Left. And it's another one of these. Yeah. Should be alright. So once you jump through that, in the next room there is a pair of scorpions. You can shoot this bar here to collect some more flares. But you should have enough for the rest of the level. Enter this passage. Turn around, jump up and grab the ladder and climb up. And this is where I recommend we save it. Jump up, grab the ceiling. And wait for the first emitter to go out. And then if you can't keep going... Use the reach in switch. Then drop down, hang and drop and... Follow the passageway. And keep going forward past the passage with the circular blade is. Into this room, keep going straight ahead, and then use this reach in switch. <gasps> that opened the passage in a previous room. On here, there is a mini pack over in that corner, and some shotgun shells in that corner. 
but I'm not going to pick them up. Climb up and crawl through this hole. Roll out onto a ledge and then follow the ledge around. Take the flares. This is a time lever, so we save in front of time levers. Pull it down. Hang, drop, roll, and then sprint through the door. Keep running and jumping. Left into this passage. And then left into the door before it closes. In here there are some shotgun shells. Small medipack. Flares. There's a lot of flares in this level. And there's some more shotgun shells. And then you need to leave it twice to get out. We're going to go back into the previous room. This way. Across the bridge. Right into the gate that we've just opened. And we need to, we're in this room now where we use both the cartouches. We're going to use both the cartouches. So make sure they're both combined. Then use the cartouches in each of the receptacles, one on the left and one on the right. Once you've used those, that door in the centre doesn't open, as you would believe it would do. Instead, these were originally not there. These have risen once you've put the cartouches in. So there's one on the other side as well. So we're going to pull these out, and we need to place these... Facing the sarcophagus in the centre of the room. And then we do the same thing with the other one. Now that door in the centre opens, go in, take the ant, take the ank off the pedestal, and you'll get the concluding flyby. I thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. I don't know where he's come from. You never see him for the entire level. Okay. <laughs>